Hello, 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 and welcome back to Just a Breezy Chat. This is Season 4, Episode 5. I know it sounds crazy because I just did Episode 4, but I might release this one the same day as I released Episode 4. I might release this one maybe two days later. Who knows? Um, But I'm literally like, oh my gosh, I'm like, it's two days out until my birthday. I'm very excited. I am so excited. But I love my birthdays. Um, it hasn't always been that way for a few years, but I always love my birthdays. It's a reminder that I'm still breeding and I'm still able to keep going in life. And I'm watching Criminal Minds right now. I originally quit watching it after a certain season after my Morgan left. I say my Morgan, but can do Morgan. That's one good looking man. The way he talks to Garcia. See, if I had a dream guy, it would be a combination of Derek Morgan and Spencer, Dr. Spencer Reed, season six and up. I'm also going to pretend the whole season where he's in jail didn't even happen. Just because. I want that one to be like a fever dream. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you're new here, hit that like button. Ring that bell for notifications. Also, subscribe. Pepper girl out. Anyway, so. But. We have... So much exciting projects going on. I'm not even joking. And I don't even know what I'm doing with my hair right now. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> but if you're annoyed, that's my dishwasher in the background. I really do need... I'm having to run my dishwasher because I haven't run the dishes in a couple of days. So, <laughs> I'm doing that now. But anyway. um, But yeah, so like... For those of you who don't know, I am working two jobs. I'm working at an Italian restaurant and a coffee shop. I'm terrible at coffee. It's been a proven fact. Somehow. But I need the money. I'm willing to do the job. But anyway. I need to. I work two jobs. To barely make rent. And it has, has me stressed beyond belief. Y'all would not even know. Like. Especially like to barely make it part. Like. I hate asking for help. That's my problem. And everything. Oh no. A lot of people. It's like. It takes a part of my pride when I have to ask for it, but I've had to do that just to cover rent, and that's the sad part right there. And especially in this economy today, when you have to work two jobs just to barely make make it by, it's crazy right there. But you do what you gotta do. But I'm also like, and at this point too, I'm like always stressed beyond belief trying to make it, barely make rent and everything else, and so much is going on. Is I'm not even joking. Um. I'm already stressed out enough. One, because my friends are in Alabama. Most of my fam, my family's in Alabama. I'm having to cut contact with a lot. I cut contact contact with a lot of toxic family members. Best decision I've ever made. Um, and everything else. But, but I've been keeping the faith the whole entire time. Like I've been keeping faith in God. He has been my rock through everything. Also, my unofficial adopted parent family. You guys know I love you. Um, but yeah, like, during this time, I would I did not lose faith in God. And if you, if this would have been me eight years ago, I would have lost all faith in him. Because of where I was at. But I'm keeping my faith in God. And he has been a shining light in more ways than one. And I trust God. Whatever his plan is, whatever he wants my, wants me to be on and everything. But he was asking for help from several organizations, like for rent relief and all of that, and there was no avail whatsoever. Um, and there was also there was also applying for jobs, like office jobs and everything, applying for jobs, but no one is biting. Like having to get like it's to a third job where it's point where I'm looking for a third job. That's the sad part right there, because I'm barely making it as it is and everything else. I'm just stressed beyond belief. And I'm looking around me, and i like, seeing everybody else. And I'm like, okay, somebody else is struggling more than me. But still. And I hate asking for help. That's my problem right there. But. Yeah, but there's, like, casting. I'm ca- Literally, I'm casting the, like, here's the job market right now. Like, I'm casting the line out. Somebody baits. Uh, occasionally, I'll get, like, a fish to bait. And then. I'll do the interview, whatever, what next. I hear nothing back. So they literally just decide not to bite. 
<sighs> stressful. And it's sad. It's like, but I'm keeping my faith. I know I'll get a better paying job eventually with time and everything else. But it's hard. Especially when you keep casting the line out and no one's taking the bait. Or they take the bait and it's like, eh, we don't want you any we don't want this anymore. But yeah. Then like on top of that I'm dealing with finals and that's like yeah. Finals was easy for me though, like especially my Tennessee history class. I love my Tennessee history class. I met so many great people and we did like this one project where we had to go to like a historical place here in Tennessee and I loved it. I ended up going to Cannesburg Village, which you can go back in my early episodes and watch some of the video where I went and everything. But yeah. But that is it for this ep for episode five. Um join me next time and we're gonna be it's gonna be a little bit longer, but that's okay. We're getting to where we're caught up here in my life now. And I'm trying to get through because it's been a year since I've been up here and everything, and I'm hoping I can get my notary next month. Hoping. Cross your fingers, wish me luck, and help and let's pray, guys. <laughs>